Okay, and I'm back playing Marble Drop. So, we're on the level 17, Arcatas of Tarenti. And I actually looked that up. Arcatas is a philosopher, mathematician, etc., from Greek, Greece, yeah, ancient Greek. <coughs> so, anyway, um, what's going to happen on this level is. I'm not sure it matters where you start. I'm using a silver marble because this is going to go in an infinite loop. And this will keep going forever. And in fact, on this level, you can have multiple balls go in an infinite loop. But I'd really like to try and avoid having any more on the loop because more than one makes the level harder, I, th I think. And we'll see. This is also a bonus level, as you can see. There's a tumbler. And this one's quite a bit... well, it's harder than the first one. It's being triggered automatically by the crossbow. There's also a trigger at here attached to this saw, and there's one trigger attached to this diverter. Now, I can't remember, since it's been so long since I recorded, I can't remember if we've seen counters yet. Uh, so I'll explain this real quick. This counter, every time the button is pressed, uh, one thing, node, lights up. And when they all get lit up, then the, the uh, spark, whatever it is, goes through and the thing actually gets triggered. <coughs> it doesn't get triggered until that point. So, this also makes things interesting. So this is uh, this level is kind of a waiting game for these things to divert. Now, every time the ball goes down here, it's also going to trigger. Uh, oh, I should have. Uh, it also triggers this thing going right back. So actually, this level this level looks a lot more complicated than it is now that I'm remembering it correctly. It's actually not that hard once you get a handle on what's going on here. You just have to wait and be patient for the diverters to change correctly. But I want to get the bonus, which makes this a lot harder. Because I have to time it very correctly. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Now, I'm not gonna put the last marble in right away. See what's pause. Okay, might might have to do some excessive pausing on this level. That's something that you'll notice here. I mentioned before is that when the level ends, if it triggers on the wire and the level all, it get, uh, ends, uh, if it triggers still going through the wire, that won't affect the tumbler. If the level's already ended, the tumbler it uh, it counts the tumbler, however, whatever state it was in, at the moment you got the last marble in. So, yeah, this, this right here, this just involves some really good timing, which is not my strong suit. Like, in fact, what I should do, really, is save the game. This is the right, because this is a part of the tunnel. We have to wait for this to come back. That's the longest running thing. And the other problem is the crossbow, but that triggers quickly. So yeah, as long as this saw is net, this saw uh, trigger is already lit up. So as long as we never hit that, we're fine. I don't even have to worry about that one. Oh, this is a problem. These diverters are in are in the same uh, when 
that was down. This was lit up. Wait a second. I'm gonna get a silver marble ready. I might need to waste a marble. Yeah, I will because these are in the wrong state. See, if I won here, this wouldn't be lit up, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't get the bonus. But now I think I just sync them correctly. I think. not the right thing. <sighs> wow. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm gonna be... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I have to do this. <laughs> Sometimes I make really dumb mistakes where I get things backwards. Mixing up my left and right and such. Now, not now, but for the next time it comes around. Good, good. Yes, we did it! Alright. All the nodes are lit up, so... All the lights are lit up. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright. Nice. Let's go on to the... The second bonus level. Which looks crazy, sort of. Red and blue. So like before, uh, the bonus levels are purely for... I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this level because it's easy. <clears throat> Basically to give you black marbles, and we didn't... I don't think... I don't remember if I used any of the black marbles yet or not. Uh, hmm. Well, that's weird. I thought I just... Bonus levels are there to give you lots of points and black marbles for free. Which you can buy, by the way, but they cost more points. <laughs> so, the other thing, though, about this is that playing a bonus level uses up a lot of... uses up a lot of your colored marbles and you don't get them returned, so it kind of forces you to either use your black marbles or end up buying more colored marbles. I probably said this before, but I'd like to try and avoid using black marbles as much as I can, because I want to try and show off how the how you're supposed to solve the level intentionally. <clears throat> well, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Trying to get all of the thing, devices here. I need to keep using this one. And this is the last... This will get these last three. Alright, this is gonna take a while. Let's speed this up. I need to watch this. Some of these levels take a unusually long amount of time. Not most of them. We've actually already passed some of the longest uh, levels in the game, actually. Back to normal. I'm not gonna continue to bother to try and read the notes on the on the background. They're just too hard to see for the most part. It's kind of annoying. I wish they'd made them easier to see. Ah, this level. Okay, this is a very memorable level. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. It's, I'm thinking of the wrong level. This is Philo of Athens. Uh, did I talk about the crossbow yet? I don't remember if I actually mentioned that. Well, we've seen it. You've seen it already. It's basically a lift or elevator, except well, a whole lot faster, which I like. This level looks somewhat similar to another level, so um, 
which I think we already played actually. Yeah, we did. I'm being stupid. Alright, so marble. This funnel will swing through the pendulum, and it'll go here, it'll trigger the cannon, which will do nothing, it'll go back up here, and it'll go down this path, which goes off the level, and that, that's a lost marble. I think this is the only level that features a track that just goes off the screen like that, too. Anyway, this path will get a marble into the cannon, so let's do that. Cannon marbles will go here, they'll land in the uh, holding tube, yeah, that's what it's called. First one out will go, will be up, so it will be blue. The second in the holding tube, this will, the diverter will be knocked down from the first, so the second should be orange, and this keeps going back and forth, so the first, the third will be blue again. And then this, a marble that hits a cannon that is in the up position, will go underneath it. We've already seen cannons. You know, I don't think you ever have to use the right funnel or the crossbow in this level. This is actually a really easy level. It looks a little... I wonder if they... I'm assuming they designed that on purpose. They designed how we do, because if we don't want to lose any... Well, no. We're going to lose marbles regardless. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna lose regardless of uh, what we do here, we're gonna lose models. We can get more points by doing this. Oh, that doesn't get put the crossbow gives points. I don't understand why the pendulum doesn't give points and everything else does. A nice configuration here that there's three things and only two uh, states of a diverter. It's now reversed so we won't lose any marbles on this side of things. No, I'm not gonna bother. I guess I will, I don't know. It's pretty much the same thing now, just blue. Need one more orange. I should have used a black marble. We have what, 13 of them. You can buy black marbles too. What I like about this game is the the optional difficulty. You know, you can play is you can cheat essentially at any time, but you know, there's no incentive to if you do nothing but cheat, the game essentially becomes pointless, so... You know, there's no... It, it, it's not fun anymore if all you're doing is using the black marbles. That's it. Yeah, this level... I thought this level was the level Euclid. Because it, it looks slightly similar. Pretty sure we already passed that level. I can look... I know I can't. Can't select. Uh, yeah, we already passed that level. What's next? Cato the Elder. I remember this level. Cato. All right. The f all right heaters. I think we already saw heaters. I'm not sure if we did or not. Uh, in this case we didn't. I'll explain it real quick while I'm figuring this out. Or probably not. I can't do this. All right. Heaters, when a ball hits a flame, it heats up, and unfortunately turns red, so after that happens, you can't tell what color a marble is anymore. But if it hits, if a already hot marble hits another flame or heater, it melts. So it's like a two-turn destruction thing. <laughs> And this thing here, a fuse, I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've seen that. Uh, hmm. I thought... A marble in here, if I use this chute, it'll hit the flame twice and it'll be lost. Marble here will be red again, I think, yeah. Oh, uh, but a fuse... 
when a fuse is triggered, oh, I didn't take that into account, it will not be red, that marble will die. Anyway, when a fuse is triggered, it blows and uh, that thing can't be triggered anymore, so it can only be triggered once. So these two diverters here, this one and this one, can, will be triggered once and then never again. And there it melted. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna lose a lot of marbles on this. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna... I don't think there's a way to avoid losing lots of marbles on this level. We have to trigger the fuse on both sides. not hot yet. And that will be red. I keep trying to read the background text and I can't. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. This will be blue, I think. Yeah. Once the fuses have been triggered, the level becomes uh, symmetrical, kind of, because they cannot pass through the sides, so this funnel is essentially always always goes to this bin, and the left funnel always goes to the, the, the left bin. And every other marble just gets destroyed, or not. Maybe not. This marble gets hot, eh, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, okay, so every... Th oh. This is a rather surprisingly complex setup. I'm gonna lose a black marble. This is a surprisingly com complex setup for this thing. Yeah, until I switch this diverter, the marbles will... Uh, huh. Will keep melting because this diverter is only triggered on the on the lower track on the brown track there. I'm still gonna use a black marble. I don't care. I'm failing to explain. <laughs> I was hoping to to be more systematic about this, but I've ended up just kind of. Going with the flow, as it were. Yeah, so it's like every third or fourth marble gets destroyed. No. And, and two in a row, because this one... Uh, I don't know, I've lost... Alright, um... I'm going to stop there for now, and I'll see you next time. Wait, let's take a look at the next level first. Philo of Byzantium. Byzantium. Alright, see you next time.